OK, let's get back and do it, OK? For so cosecant, secant, cotangent, they're just reciprocal, they're just flipped, flipped fractions there. Um, the way I remembered it was, you'd think that cosecant would go with cosine, wouldn't you? It doesn't, OK? So that's the way I just think of it. I thought, well, cosecant should go with cosine, it doesn't, so it goes with sine. That's just how I remember as a kid. Because I, history doesn't let it happen. Secant is then, so it's cosecant is 1 over sine, secant is 1 over cos, cotangent is 1 over tan, which sort of makes sense. So, um, to example one, it's going to say, uh, solve uh, cosecant uh, theta equals 1.2. Okay, so here's the issue that I see with this question. Does anyone have a cosecant button on their calculator? No, they don't. I don't believe anyone does. I don't care how cool your calculator is. You don't have a calculator, there's still no cosecant button on your calculator. This is how you deal with it. You're going to look at the left-hand board, you're going to say to yourself, what does cosecant represent? One over sine. So I'm going to write this as 1 over sine equals 1.2. So if I say 1 over sine is 1.2, what is sine theta going to equal? So what you can just do is you can flip both fractions, right? And again, you can do it the long way if you want to as well. That's one over one. And then you do theta equals sine inverse one over one point two. And I can't do that when I had it on another try. Marissa, how are you? Sex, right? This is, I'm asking too many questions, but I, I missed you guys so much. How was the... Uh... Okay, so what is uh, sine inverse of 1 divided by 1.2, please? Go ahead. Uh, four, four. Here we go. I'd like you to solve this in form, please. So if you guys can solve co can you guys solve cotangent of theta equals root three, please? Okay, can I get someone to be brave? Let's do the row. So play the row game today. Can someone from the back row raise their hand for a change and tell me what cotangent means? The same as what? Go ahead. One over tan, wonderful. So one over tan theta equals root three. Now, if anyone in this class ever tells you that it equals one point six nine three nine four. Shame on you. Please leave those roots three until you need to do something with it. Okay? Can someone from the front row tell me what to do next, please? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I just switched this the root three with tan. Okay. So tan theta equals one over root three. Okay, can someone from the second row tell me what to do now? Okay? So theta equals tan inverse of one divided by root three. Good, and what's that for you? why that works and how that's cool. And it is cool. Yes? And that's the root 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 Here we go, example three. Try this one more time, and then we'll uh, move on to something else. So example three. Let's do um, secant theta equals two over root three. Um, now, uh, start with someone in the second row or third row, I guess, now. Someone in the third row be brave. What is secant the same as? Yeah, can I explain? Uh, one third cos theta. Okay, one third theta, good. Okay, now this is the part that gets people tricked, okay? Now, remember what we said was here. We're just going to, somebody in the back row, sorry, you're out. Somebody else in the back row, what do we do here at this point? 
Mr. Roland Schuyler, please. Okay, go ahead, Julie. Yeah, okay, so um, you're going to flip the Aiken back. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but I'm just going to flip both. So you get close theta equal to 3 over 2. Now, if you don't like that explanation, okay, that's the easy I'll show you the long, complicated method to do it if you want to, of why that works. So I'd say, well, 1 equals 2 cos theta over root 3. Then root 3 equals 2 cos theta. Then root 3 over 2 equals cos theta. In my way, it's just easier to say that from both, okay? You get the same thing, all right? Uh, the other thing you can see, yeah, there's many different ways of that. Okay, someone in the front row, what is cos inverse of root 3 over 2? Is the calculator? 30. Wow. Uh, isn't that amazing? The math is cool. Some Grand Canyon is amazing. This is. <laughs> the Grand Canyon is amazing. It's wildly interesting. Half points Uh, example four, and I only put this in here because the textbook likes this. I don't like this question of what the textbook does. to tell me that um, sine of theta is 1.2 over 3.1. What did you tell me? Okay. So I want you to do that for all six. Where did I get that from? Well, 1.2 is your opposite side. 3.1 is your hypotenuse. I'm giving you this because the textbook likes this question. I don't. Okay, right, but that's okay. How is this related to What's that? How is this related to Okay, well, good question. If I know that sine of theta is 1.2 over 3.1, what does that tell me? What's related to sine? Cos cosecant. So what is cosecant theta going to equal? Right on. This is left, right? Oh, that's all we're saying, right? Okay. Oh, my hands are at the theta. What's that? Cosecant. Yes. I know, I know. Just the textbook has questions in here like this, so I gave you one of these tonight. And just to get the idea that they're flipped, they're related in the same way. Okay? Yeah. What's the point of those Okay, the real reason is, I'm going to show you, in a few days, we'll get to a question that looks like this, okay? Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Okay. So there's like just wait, just wait. Okay, that's equivalent to this. Um, what is that? Cos. Okay. The other thing is, okay, right. This the second line is much faster to deal with, right? And that's that's the main reason to do for to get rid of fractions and things. Yeah. yeah. And when you guys get to calculus and all that stuff, right? All these things will be nice for you, okay? Like it's, it's a building block, it's in between the building blocks. Now, I hate to pop it like that, but that's really what this is, right? For these, okay? You're extending a terminology, that's all this is. Okay, what's that? Why do we know all this? We have to do it in the They don't. Do it one of that way, okay? Okay, let's keep going here. Can I get somebody, please, to give me the one for cosine, please? Yeah, go ahead, Tristan. <coughs> Boy. Now, the, hopefully, the reason we're getting these right, so there's your offset, there's your adjacent, there's your hypotenuse. All right? Uh, so he gave me secant, so he said, wow, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, that's, or hypotenuse over adjacent, that's great. What's related to secant? 
somebody else can please. No, I know you got this. Trust somebody else to do. What else, which way is the secant? It's cosine, okay? So if secant is 3.1 over 2.4, what's cosine going to be? Okay, can somebody give me what tangent is equal to, please? What's tan equal to? Yeah, right from there? Tan is equal to 2.4 over 1.2. Uh, no, tan or cotan? Uh, I think tan is 1.2 over 2.4, I think. Oh, yeah, sorry, tan. And this is the mean part. That's 1 half, right? 1.2 over 2.4, I think, is 1 half. Yeah. yeah. So what is cotangent equal to here? Three. Three. So what is the text of square root? No, don't say. Thanks for asking. Anyway, that one of the things. No. Is that going to do square roots? I don't think it does. Okay, I'm going to give you the homework. That's all I got. This will take less than it's all the way through. So I'm going to just keep slowing this again back to you again. All right. Um, Oh, one last one I'll do, sorry, one last thing. Sorry, this is it. This is sorry, I forgot to do this first. This is it. Okay, what is secret? Sorry, that. What is secret of 29 degrees? How do I deal with secret of 29? Once again, now the reason I want to get to talking with these is because I will give this to you on a test two weeks from now and you're going to say, I don't know, would we ever learn this? Yes, you did, right now. Um, how do you deal with that? Yes. Thank you. So you're just going to find out that the angle goes to the theta. It's the same as 1 divided by close to 29 degrees. Okay. Just so you see what I did there, right? It's just whatever close to 29 is and 1 over. So how do you do what, So somebody please type that into your calculator. A little slower. A little slower, 1.14. Okay. Now, because cosine equals hypotenuse over, sorry, this cosine is opposite, no, 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 Because cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse, secant is going to be a hypotenuse over adjacent, so the answer is always going to be above 1, okay, because hypotenuse will always be bigger than the adjacent side, okay. All right, here's your homework for tonight. Let's do this again. Homework is page 281. You almost had a sequence. I know. I did not. I never will. I never will.